What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a site that you can use to put some of these crypto projects that you might be looking into or hearing about on the internet or hearing about from a friend into perspective so you can make a smart decision when investing. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of these great videos or urgent market updates that we upload to the channel. Now, now, the site we're going to be talking about today is called The Coin Perspective. And just like the name of the website suggests, this helps you put some of the projects that like I said earlier, you might be hearing about from a friend or on the internet. It helps you put these projects into perspective so you can kind of have a realistic idea of how the coin can perform over time. Now, this can help you avoid situations like when you have somebody coming up to you and saying, buy Shiba Inu, buy Shiba Inu, it's gonna go to one penny and you'll be a millionaire. It's so easy. Uh, this will help you kind of see through these kinds of things and help you possibly avoid some bad and investments. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the computer. I'm going to show you guys this website, The Coin Perspective. I'm going to show you some of the features that it has uh, and how you can use it to make more informed decisions when investing in a project. So here you go, thecoinperspective.com. Now, real quick, just to start off, I'm going to go over the about section. It just says, Coin Perspective has one goal, help investors put cryptocurrency projects into perspective and make informed decisions. And then you can see some of their guiding principles here, contact history, uh, if you're interested in uh, reading that. But I just wanna, wanted to go over uh, you know, what they are all about here. Now, if we come back to the main page, so on the main dashboard, you can see uh, right now we have selected Ethereum. It gives you the current price with a nice little chart, which I think is a nice touch. And then if you come over here, you'll see it says, if Ethereum had Bitcoin's market cap of 423.6 billion, one ETH, would be worth $3,495, uh, an upside of 190%. Again, this can help you put things into perspective because as you know, I say this on my channel all the time, a lot of people think that if a coin is cheap, it means that there is a higher gain potential, which is not the case. It's much more about market cap and circulating supply. And a coin perspective can help you point this out. Now, I did give that example of Shiba Inu, people thinking it could go to a penny. Uh, and I always say that is very, very unlikely, almost impossible. The only way I can really see that happening is if they burn like all of their coins. Uh, but let's use that as our first example. So let's say we wanted to figure out what the market cap of Shiba Inu would have to be to hit a penny. If we come over here and we come down and we find Shiba Inu, there it is right here. We'll click that and you can see uh, if Shiba Inu had the had Bitcoin's market cap of 423.6 billion, one SHIB would be worth 0.0007, right? So even if Shiba Inu had the market cap of Bitcoin, it would still be way under a dollar. If you come down underneath this little description, you can see you have a you know a little control panel here where you can, uh, you know where you can actually change a lot of these parameters. Um, so let's go ahead and say we double, right? Let's just say we're gonna double Bitcoin's market cap. I know it's 423, so let's go ahead and make it. 846. So even if you doubled Bitcoin's market cap, meaning Shiba Inu was worth double the market cap of Bitcoin, you would still be under a penny at 0 0.0014. So let's just go ahead and cut to the chase here. And right here, you can set your price target. So if you come here and you type in 0 0.01, which would be one cent. It just basically tells you the market cap, what the market cap would need to be for Shiba Inu to hit a penny. And you can see it right here. It's $5.9 trillion, almost $6 trillion. Now, now, right now, I think the market cap of all of crypto is coming in at just under a trillion dollars. Let's just call it a trillion dollars to make it even. Shiba Inu would have to have a market cap of six times the market cap of the entire cryptocurrency market. All of the money invested into every coin in crypto altogether, you would need six times that amount of money just invested in Shiba Inu for Shiba Inu just to hit a penny. So this kind of puts into perspective how far off Shiba Inu is, is from hitting a penny. It would be a 
uh, it would be a 1,238X to get to a penny. So when the next time one of your crypto bros comes up to you and says, dude, you gotta buy Shiba Inu, it's gonna go to a penny, you're gonna make a million dollars, you let him know that literally six times the entire market cap of all of crypto would have to all, not only all the money in crypto would have to go into Shiba Inu, but times six. You let him know that and then you can tell him that Shiba Inu will never hit a penny. Now, I don't like saying never uh, because Theoretically, if they burned a lot of their coins, uh, that could help it reach a penny faster. Now, if you're confused on what market cap actually is, this site can actually help you out. And you can see right here, uh, Shiba Inu's current market cap is 4.8 billion. And if you go ahead and click on this little question mark up here, it will bring you to a definition of market cap. So market cap equals current price times circulating supply. It is a way to measure the total market value of a cryptocurrency and often used as an indicator of relative dominance and popularity. Though this metric is widely used, more information before making trading decisions is recommended. Right, so you're taking the current price of one coin and multiplying it by the by the circulating supply and that's how you get the market cap. Now, it also also essentially represents how much money is in the asset uh, you know, how much of investors' money is in the asset. So that's kind of a good way to think about it. Um, but gain potential on a certain project has much more to do with the market cap and the circulating supply than it has to do with the price, right? It seems nice that Shiba Inu is fractions of a penny, and if you put $100 in, you get billions of coins, and then you think, oh, then it would only have to hit a penny. So it kind of makes sense why people would think that, uh, but that's just simply not how it works. Um, so this site can definitely help you steer clear of some of these things. Uh, but, you know, let's take XRP, for example. Um, let's click on XRP. And obviously you get the price, you get the chart here, the current uh, information about the coin, the current price. So that is very nice. Um, and then, you know, it kind of just gives you an idea if XRP had, the, had Bitcoin's market cap of $423.6 billion, it would be worth about $8.76, uh, a 26X from here. Now, if we continue to scroll down here, uh, you do get recently viewed coins, so it keeps a little uh, memory of what you've looked at. And then if you keep scrolling down, this is pretty cool. It says, what if XRP reached the market cap of, and then just lists a bunch of the coins, right? So if XRP had the market cap of Bitcoin, we just went over that, it would be a 26X from here, about $8.76. Ethereum, it would be about three uh, about $3. Uh, UST would be about $1.48. Uh, you know, BNB would be about 75 cents and obviously it goes so on and so forth. You can keep running down the list and just see if XRP had that coin's market cap, what would it be worth? And then, you know, you can kind of see, you know, right now, if, uh, if you wanted to kind of guess if XRP were to jump to number two in market cap, what would the price be? So if, if XRP were to flip Ethereum, what would the price be? You can kind of check that out. Uh, so you can, you can see here that Ethereum's market cap is 145.8 billion, right? Uh, so you could either type that number in or you could just come, you could come down here and compare it to a different coin. So if Ethereum were, to flip, uh, if XRP were to flip Ethereum and take its market cap, it would put XRP at about $3. So this is kind of interesting to look at. Um, you could kind of plug the numbers in as you see fit. Um, and then, you know, this is kind of cool too, if you wanted to see, I know a lot of people think that if the XRP lawsuit uh, ends in XRP's favor, uh, XRP could hit $10. So you could just type it in here. You know, if XRP were to hit $10, it would have to hit, have a $483.4 billion market cap, which is a higher market cap than Bitcoin right now. So for that to happen, XRP would have to flip Bitcoin right now, but we are in a bear market. So Bitcoin's market cap has been coming down quite a bit. Um, but it's just really cool to kind of put into perspective. Uh, you know, you could kind of mess around with different metrics here and just see like if xrp were to hit ten dollars right now it would have to flip bitcoin's market cap but you could kind of just plug in your different uh numbers and your different metrics to try to gauge you know what kind of market cap a coin would have would have to get to to get to a certain price so that way when someone says uh in the next bull run i think polka dot could go to a thousand dollars right you could come to this website and you can just type in on polka dot put in a thousand dollars and it would say, and you could figure out here, 
if Polkadot had a market cap of $1.1 trillion, one dot would be worth $1,000, right? So Polkadot would have to have a $1.1 trillion market cap, which is more than the full market cap of all of crypto right now to hit that price. So you could kind of see these random price predictions that people put out, oh, it's gonna hit $1,000. And you could kind of see, be like, well, it would have to have a $1 trillion market cap, uh, which is more than crypto right now. Um, obviously the market cap of crypto changes in bull runs and bear markets, it changes every day, uh, but still, you know, you can go back and, you know, even during a bull run, you could run these numbers and be like, right now we're in the middle of a bull run and the market cap is only 1.5 trillion. We'd need most of crypto money to just go straight into Polkadot for it to hit $1,000. It could kind of just give you an idea of what's realistic and what's not realistic, right? So you could kind of, we could sit here all day and run these crazy price predictions that people have uh, and kind of see if they're close to being accurate or even possible, but this would literally be a two hour video. So guys, I think that's all I got for this one. A little bit of a quicker video today. Uh, you know, I did find this website and I just thought it was interesting. So I wanted to pass it on to the candle mafia. Uh, I know we do have that conversation on the stream sometimes. Will Shiba Inu hit a cent? Is it possible? So there you go. It would literally need to be six times the market cap of all of crypto, at least at today's prices. Um, again, not impossible because you can burn coins, right? Things like that. I don't have high hopes for that. That's why I don't really invest in Sheeb. But nonetheless, a very, very unique, and in my opinion, a much needed tool in crypto that you guys can use to make more informed decisions. And again, to avoid those crypto bros telling you, buy this meme coin, it's gonna go to $5. It's only a fraction of a penny right now. You could plug it into here and see if those people have any grounds to be saying that. So head over to thecoinperspective.com. I will link it in the description below. And uh, sit on here and play around. You could kill some time just kind of looking at things, playing around with the numbers, changing out the co different coins, comparing different coins, stuff like that, because it could give you a lot of really, really cool information. With all that being said, guys, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Frankie Candles out. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the